I've been fighting with these all day. To pay $400 for AirPods and you can't even talk on them. I mean, my Apple Care is now expired, so what's a girl to do? Every other word is a huh, yeah, okay, if you know those lyrics, comment down below. But seriously though, it's really annoying having serious conversations, trying to make career advancements, business moves, or just kiki, let's be honest. And people are like, wait, come again? What did you say? I didn't hear that. It just got robotic. Are you still there? I didn't hear you. Repeat that, speak louder. Sounds like you're at the bottom of an ocean. Between this and my iPhone not working, conveniently around the drop of the new iPhone, Apple, I'm watching you. Anywho, like I said earlier, Wednesday, midweek treat, we're gonna meet up with Maria to go get some jerk chicken. She loves it and I love that she loves it because when people love my culture, my cuisine, I mean, I love craving is number one because figure one. Anyway, by the way, what's your favorite food and is it something that's nostalgic to you, related to your culture, or just something like exotic? Because I find a lot of people's favorite cuisine is something so far removed from what they grew up with or their comfort food. But we're gonna get going because Toronto traffic is a trip and if it isn't, TTC will mess you up with it. So let's go. By the way, we're going to the location in Little Italy. Yeah, I know, Caribbean food in Little Italy. But the one that Riri and Drake shot their music video at a couple years back, that one's too far, so we're not gonna do that. But hopefully it'll be a good time. And I don't know how much I'll share with you because we have a lot to catch up on. But let's go. I need to bring a coat because even though the sun's cascading nicely, I bet she's not that warm anymore. Wait, how rude of me. Happy Wednesday. Any anyway, let's just do this super duper quick so I can get ready to go. Stop. That's the one thing you really like. I'm gonna cut some burgers and poutine, but then this side is gonna probably cover the actual like meals, like jerk chicken dinner. It smells good. Oh, it's so good. I'm sure it's good. Yeah, it smels seasoned. It's <laughs> everywhere. Are there any secret? I have two, but then I think, oh no, but probably take too much from her. I'm no expert, but. Look at all these goodies that Maria is introducing me to. <laughs> Dig in. Yes. Muscarpone. So this is all that part of the tiramisu. Five customers? Yes. <laughs> and sometimes the one with oats is crispy.
Welcome to Old Chinatown, where there is a bakery that's been around for years, but I've never been there. And apparently it's one of the best in the city, so we're gonna get what they call an A-bar, which is, I guess, their spin on an Anima bar. Let's head in. This Menendez documentary is killing me. I don't even know if I have the energy to watch the new series. Have you seen it? A lot of people have been saying it's really good. I don't know if good is the right word when it comes to these dramatizations of real life events. I went out for a bit today. As you saw, I went to go get this. They call it the A bar. I don't know if you could hear me because I didn't have my wind muff on when I was outside. <laughs> Gotta get my vlogger brain on sometimes. But this is basically an Nanaimo bar. And an Imo bar is one of those signature treats that you have to try when you come to Canada. I think it originated in BC, but I've never been to British Columbia, so the only time I've ever had it is here in Toronto. And this is so, so good. It's probably like one of my top 10 desserts. I mean, that means there's probably nine other ones that I like more. Creme brulee is probably my absolute favorite. And I make a mean creme brulee if I do say so myself. But Anyways, I made some horchata tea to complement it. So I'm going to sit down and watch the rest of this documentary. I had gotten food on the way home because I was really craving jerk chicken, but I posted that on Instagram. So if you're not following me and you want to keep up with me when I'm not posting or showing things in the vlog, that's where you need to go. Plus, I'm going to be taking a little break from vlogging. I got to send this camera in for it to get service, but I'll do that after, after the Roaring Mall show. So that way you can get some snippets of what that's like. I can't wait to go. I wanted to go when they came this time last year. But what happened was the night of their show was the same time that I flew back from Jamaica and there was no way I would have made it to their show on time. So I would have gone this time last year, maybe even again this year because I love them. Okay, so let's see. Oh, maybe I should do a close up first before I eat it to be all aesthetic.